Well, uh, talk about the fate of Lesotho. All eyes on the SADC double troika meeting in Pretoria today that will try and resolve fresh political tensions in Lesotho. AU Chair President Robert Mugabe is leading those talks in Pretoria. There are new tensions come four months after Lesotho's parliamentary elections, which saw former Prime Minister Thomas Tabane replaced with Democratic Congress leader Pakalite Mosisile. Our contributing editor, Vuyan um, Voko, is in Pretoria at the moment uh, for you what's happened so far if anything well thanks very much Francis we haven't did be been waiting for a good few hours now just over an hour ago uh, Pres uh, Prime Minister Pagadita Musasidi walked in that's after he was called in by the three presidents President Robert Mugabe President Jacob Zuma and uh, uh, President Kama from uh, Botswana they were calling him we were we understand to brief him on whatever decision they would have taken with regard to the security and political situation in uh, Lesotho. So we are expecting the three presidents to walk into this room right where I am to communicate their decision any minute from now. So this is happening behind closed doors at the moment. How important is the decision of the Troika? It certainly will uh, give one a sense of uh, the leaders, SADC leaders' appreciation of the situation in Lesotho, whether they think that uh, what has been officially communicated is indeed what's happening on the ground. You will recall that um, these countries do have people on the ground who are doing a lot of groundwork, so they have gathered information which presumably would have been communicated to their heads of state upon which uh, the heads of state would then act. Um, so the, from the communique that will be read in a short while as soon as they walked in here, we will of course be able to get a sense of whether their understanding of what is going on in Lesotho is indeed what we've been officially told, but also whether it is what the little that we know as people who have been covering the story, whether indeed there are deeper and more substantial issues that uh, may not have become um, to before the eye of uh, the public. Um, Fuyo, is this broader intervention, the, the problems with Lesotho have been ongoing, is this um, broader meeting in any way a vote of no confidence in South Africa's mediation efforts thus far? Well, not at all. It's, uh, it's the very reason that uh, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa went to um, Lesotho a few days ago. He spent just over 24 hours speaking to the key role players, the churches, um, lawyers uh, who are concerned about what is going on there. And um, that, uh, the report of um, the conversations and the discussions he had there with the key role players will indeed form part uh, or would have formed a part of a, a report that he would have tabled before the three heads of state upon which they would have taken whatever decision they must have taken by, by now, that which uh, they are planning to communicate with the rest of us in a short while. For your uh, finally and, and quite quickly, please, if somebody is just tuning in, doesn't know much about the political situation in Lesotho, just explain uh, this, this concern and, and the tensions that we've seen. Well, um, a week ago, uh, the former chief of the army, um, Lieutenant General Mahawu was killed, killed by his own peers. Well, the official version is that um, he tried to resist arrest and the reason they wanted to arrest him was because there's an ongoing investigation by the army in Lesotho um, about mutiny. Dozens and dozens of uh, officers have already been arrested. There are also allegations that some of them have been tortured. 
At the same time, you have uh, three, the three leaders of uh, Lesotho's um, opposition coalition not inside Lesotho as we speak. They have fled. They claim that they got tip-offs that uh, they were about to be killed. And uh, they do point to other incidents, including that of Lieutenant uh, General Mahau, who, was, uh, who it is said was tipped off about his pending um, um, arrest and uh, possible death. And um, he would take none of that. And, uh, of course, the tragic incident of him being killed um, happened last week. So none of these leaders are taking any chances. Um, they are part of the uh, lobby group that is actually um, really agitated for SADC to actually um, get involved. So in a nutshell, that is what is happening um, in Lesotho at the moment. And it's not something um, that really can be left to chance at the moment because so many things that were said, uh, that were rumored to be bound to happen, have indeed happened. Uh, hence, uh, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa was sent by SADC to speak to the key, some of the key um, stakeholders, and it's the reason indeed there is this extraordinary summit here um, in South Africa, in Pretoria, today. Thank you very much, Vuyo Mvoko, SABC's contributing editor. And if you're with us on DSTV 404, as soon as uh, the Troika, the, the leaders uh, representing Botswana, South Africa and Zimbabwe emerge from that behind the doors discussion, uh, we will take that statement live for you. For now, uh, let's see.